Hi my Cancer witches and wizards, welcome to the Witch's Craft, I'm your host Moon Mistress. So we're going to be doing your Samhain spread. Um, hopefully this gets out on time, <laughs> okay, so uh, we're going to be going over a few different things and let's just get right into it, I pulled your cards. Okay, the first thing we're going to be discussing is what needs to be banished from your life. Okay, so we get the Six of Cups. So in terms of what you need to banish cancer, um, we're looking here at memories, nostalgia, and things cropping up from the past, okay? When you're going over your memories, as cancers usually do, be careful not to get caught in negative memories and negative um feelings associated with past memories, especially those regarding your close relationships, such as your love relationships and partnerships, okay? Um, what I would suggest for trying to do that is um, some banishment work, cord cutting, um, which I've had to do with this one ex. I have to literally cord cut all the time and it's been five years <laughs> okay so try the cord cutting the other thing that you can do is take your cleansing baths you know do your sage all that kind of stuff right um and also listen to some meditations on youtube i listen to them every night so um those help me get to sleep those help relieve my anxiety and and such like that so yes Things that are cropping up from the past, such as your past friendships, past lovers, um, and past situations that are going to be cropping up in this next year, especially we're close to Mercury retrograde. Okay, so things are going to be cropping up from the past. If they didn't serve you before, they're not going to serve you now. So it's ideal for you guys to keep the past to a minimum, try to live in the present, and banish the things from your past that aren't serving you. Okay, now this is called the crossroads, okay? So this is something you need to change. I did put everything over here on this Bristol board, but I realized that you can't really see that. So, oh, my leg. Um, so yes, it's the spread will be on my Facebook and Instagram. Okay, so your crossroads. What are things that need to change? Well, we have the Fool card. So this is all about you taking a leap of faith this year, Cancer. And when I say this year, I'm really talking about the Witch's New Year till next Witch's New Year, okay? Next Samhain or Samhain. I call it Samhain still sometimes. I'm just trying to say it proper for the channel. Okay, so... What needs to change is you guys being able to take a leap of faith, going out of your comfort zone, and really following something that most likely you've always wanted to do, okay? This could be taking that leap of faith to travel or move or start on some kind of new journey where you've been feeling held back. Now, for a lot of you Cancers, you've been held back because of friendships close one-on-one -on -one relationships such as family, your partnerships, okay? And some of those past situations could have really procrastinated your progress. I don't know if that sentence made any sense, but it could have made you procrastinate, okay? So now this year is the time to take your leap of faith going forward. <sighs> My baby is due so soon, like I just need her to get out of my body i'm in so much pain okay so the message from your ancestors cancer is the three of wands so the message that we get from your ancestors for this year is that we do see success coming in for you some of your ancestors may be on your side giving you guys some like creative ideas um really trying to open up your path here okay all the work that you guys have put in, um, that you've been waiting for, those ideas you've planted, now's the time to take action on those because you will see success coming in. But you guys have to take the action, okay? Okay. 
Okay. So this one is called Ritual. This is what your spiritual power is, Cancer, and how can you enhance your spirituality? Well, with the Moon card here, and we already know, most of you Cancers are already going to know you're pretty intuitive as the water signs are. Okay, so what's your magical power here? Is being able to feel the unseen. Oh, sorry, guys, my leg hurts so bad. Okay, so your power is being able to see the unseen. Okay, so you can get messages in your dreams. You can get messages through signs outside. How you're going to enhance your spirituality here, though, is to really learn to trust your intuition and trust your gut instinct here. Okay, um, for some of you, you might need to remove the blindfold in terms of trusting yourself. Okay, for some of you, you don't trust your intuition when a situation crops up and it keeps you in a stalemate situation where you don't make any steps forward, you don't take any steps back, you kind of just stay in one place. So for you guys, working on your intuition is going to enhance your spirituality. Okay, tapping into your emotions here is going to make you guys successful, all right? In terms of growing your spiritual power here. For some of you, taking trips down to the water, drinking more water, bathing in the water, this is all going to enhance your spiritual intuition as well, okay? And on top of that, it's going to cleanse you of all the negativity that you're holding on to from the past. Okay, so we see success here moving forward in terms of your spiritual growth. Okay, so now we have Love Spell, and I pulled a couple cards for this one. So this is your love forecast for the next year. Well, we have some anxiety coming up. This is whether you're single or in a relationship, okay? There's going to be some kind of mental stress, anxiety going on. Um, some of you may have trouble sleeping. Now, this may not just be in terms of your love life. This could be in, in terms of things going on in your life that are just kind of stressing you out. For some of you, it has to do with parenting. Okay? For others of you, there's a focus on your stability in terms of your relationships in your love relationships, okay? Some of you could be stressing out about the stability. Some of you are stressing out about um, all of your parental responsibilities. And others of you could be stressing out about the, your father or the father of your children, okay? Yeah, so some of you might need to take a mental break here. Some of you might need, e need to even separate yourself from your partner, okay? I'm not talking about a breakup. I'm talking about you might need time alone. You might need to reflect here in order to get your thoughts in order, okay? Once you take this time to reflect... I don't know if... Sorry, I'm... For some of you, your partner may be in um, jail or recovering from something uh, in the hospital or rehab, okay? And that could be stressing you out. That's for some of you. But taking your breakout to mentally reflect here, calm your anxiety down, will change things in your favor, Cancer. Okay, now we'll look forward into the best events in the coming year. Sorry if I pause a lot. I've 
film these when my baby goes to bed so it's always like midnight or one o'clock in the morning ow my leg <laughs> okay i'm sorry okay so what's your best events in the coming year well we see some success with money and finances here and stability now this could be due to you guys just delving into your work for others of you this is going to be learning something new going back to school um, really honing in on your skills, working on your crafts, okay? And this is going to bring you success. We see here that you're going to be planting some seeds, your ideas, um, you know, or again, new skills that you're learning. And your patience is going to wear off, not wear off, sorry. Your patience is going to bring success in, okay? I don't know. Anyway your patience is going to bring success in okay for a lot of you cancers you've waited a long time this could be several months this could be several years to get to where you need to be to get your finances in order your stability on the ground okay so some of you guys like i said will be honing in on new skills your existing skills and some of you might even be teaching um some of your skills as well regardless we do see um an increase in your finances in this next year okay cancer so that was your reading if you do want to see your monthly general and love horoscope you can visit my other channel uh at the oracle divine <laughs> okay so i will see you guys next time bye cancer